Hello, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to take you along as I build a pair of earrings with those really nice green spinels that I bought a while ago. Let's go. First step is, like usual, picking the material. I have a stubby bit of 18 karat yellow gold in my drawer, so I have to roll it down first. Um, after about 50% of deforming, you usually have to anneal the gold, or it gets really brittle and can break and form cracks. So that's what you see me doing here. When the material is to size, I'm aiming for uh, one and a half millimeters by two millimeters here, flat stock basically. I have to bend it straight so I can uh, measure out my parts. So the plan is basically to make a basket design setting for the big green stone. I'm following in grooves here for the sharp corners and later I will bend the rest into the form of the underbelly of the stone. There will basically be two long parts and two short parts that cross each other for two basket forms. When you're carving in grooves like this, the angle of the groove determines how sharp you can make the bend. Because I already have roundness to the belly of the wire, I can't go with a no normal 90 degrees cut here. So I have to use a triangle file instead. Here I'm carving in a rectangular groove, half the thickness of the wire so the two parts can be assembled together.
For soldering I use brace tech ages of flux and 18 karat hard solder. While for the first hanger part I have a template, the second one I'm just gonna model after the first one. This part is made from 1.4mm square wire because I plan to set 1mm stones into it. The trick in bending soft materials with pliers is to not actually clamp down hard on the material but rather just squeeze it lightly in the pliers and bend the material around. If I press down too hard here, I will mar the gold and have to file out the marks later. I never really use it a lot, but the red stuff is a molding clay that's called Fixotem that absorbs heat and stays in place, so it can be used as a fixture for, some, for complicated soldering operations, like this one. In this stage of the process, the basic metal work is done. I'm going to set the gems under the microscope now, so I'm going to take you in for a closer look.
In case you've been wondering, this black stuff where I hold my pieces under the microscope for setting is called Mounters Mastic. It's a bought product, but it can also be shop made with relatively accessible ingredients. Its solvent is acetone, so that's what's inside the jar. And yes, this looks brutal, but it's actually one of the best ways to set stones if you have really big claws. Thank you for following along. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions for me or thoughts, put them in the comments below. And now I want to show you some final product shots.